Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and I love having eggnog when it comes out each year in the stores, but I can't drink it anymore because I'm lactose intolerant, even with the lactate. So I'm relegated to having the other nogs, and I was at the supermarket the other day, saw several of them lined up, and I thought, well, which of them is actually the best? I'm gonna find out today. Epic Review Guys. The contenders to good old eggnog that I grew up drinking are. Silk Nog. Now this is basically soy milk eggnog. I've had this one the last several years and it's pretty good. Um, it really misses the creaminess of regular eggnog, but taste-wise it's pretty good. Another one is the mysteriously named Holiday Nog. This is from lactate. This is made from milk, but it's lactose-free, so those certain sugars have been removed from it and it does change the taste a little. I'm not sure how I would like this. And then, brand new this year with the popularity of these uh, new milk alternatives, almond milk, even cashew milk now, there's almond nog. This is almond milk eggnog. And here at the end of the table, I'm not going to be including this in the taste test, it's a little bit different. It's almond nog pumpkin spice. I tried this about a week back. Do not like it. Now, it's not trying to be regular eggnog, but whatever the spices are they put in it with the almond flavor, just I really didn't care for this one. Now, as for pricing, each of these go for between two and three dollars, and I found them at our regular local supermarket. The way I'm going to test this out is I'll start with the original eggnog, I'll taste that, then I'll taste this, then I'll go back to original eggnog, and then the next one, and so forth. So I'm going to be drinking some original eggnog, I've got some lactate I'm going to take to help protect my stomach. The taste of the lactate tablets now has my mouth all prepared for ice cream because that's what I always eat next when I have that. Even with that, I can't drink regular milk. A glass of regular milk is disaster. Okay, we'll shake this up. See little bits of cinnamon here on the bottom. Smells good. That's what we're looking at. Looks nice and creamy, I'm sure it is, and I better not drink more than a sip. Mmm, mmm, so good. Yeah, that's the creaminess of it. And this is actually made with 2% milk, not even whole milk, but still, that, that creaminess I love so much in eggnog. So, we will see how the soy milk version, Silk Nog does. I've had this uh, the last several years and the taste is pretty good, but you can't beat that creaminess of the fat and milk. Well, at least you weren't able to before. Hmm. <clears throat> Looking pretty similar, but yeah, it doesn't, see how it doesn't stay on the glass as much, as thickly as this one coats that? That's that delicious creaminess. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Silk Nog. Smells not as strong either. It's, it's like a watery version of this. It very, feels very watered down and it has that soy aftertaste. It's not bad if you aren't having any of the actual uh, eggnog because you can't. This will give you a little bit of the recollection of what it's like. It will trigger that for you, but um, not a very strong contender in taste. Okay, yay. Back to more original eggnog. Mmm. 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 Now I've got the spices going on. Okay, holiday nog. My thinking is this would be the next best to this because it's made with milk. Let's see, do they use 2%? They don't say, it just says milk. You can usually tell by the fat. Oh, 6%, 10%, 12%, 25%. This must be whole milk. This could be better. Not better for you, but better tasting. Okay, lactate holiday nog. Oh, that's creamy. It's a little bit darker color than these as well. 
Yeah. Passes the creaminess test. Might even be a little creamier than the original. As opposed to the soy. Yeah. Okay. It's got to be a little different though because it doesn't have those uh, other milk sugars. Wow, that's good. It's even creamier than the original. It's not the same taste though. It's like it's missing the, the egg taste. What it tastes like are the vanilla milkshakes from McDonald's. The ones that I think are made up of a lot of artificial ingredients probably, at least they were when I drank those milkshakes back in the 70s or so. They have that sort of interesting variation of vanilla flavor. That's what's in the background of this. My stomach just went, it's not happy. Wow. Wow, that's good. By far the creamiest. This is creamier than the original. Of course, this is a 2%, but it doesn't have that egg taste of the eggnog, so it is lacking that, interestingly. And new on the scene, dairy-free almond nog, original. I like almond milk. I really like the cashew milk. That's my favorite now. That's what um, I have out in the refrigerator to drink instead of milk. But I couldn't find a cashew uh, milk version of eggnog. Too soon. Hmm, now this is brown. This is brown. Yeah, we've got medium yellow, medium yellow, a, a darker yellow, and brown. And creaminess seems to be similar to the soy milk. Lots of little air bubbles though, which I've noticed the, um, the soy nog has a lot of air bubbles, but the milk-based ones don't. Okay, so I've got to try this one again and then compare it. Here we go. Strongest smell by far from this, the spice smell and the egg smell. Okay. <clears throat> smells like almond milk. And tastes like almond milk. Where's the eggnog flavor? It's different than regular almond milk. They've added something to it, but it doesn't taste like eggnog. Seems to be lacking the egg flavor and the spice flavor and the cinnamon flavor. I'm not sure what they added to it, but it doesn't really taste much like eggnog to me. Taking a look at the ingredients, I noticed here on the almond nog that the number one ingredient is almond milk and what that's constituted of. Then there's sugar and sea salt. Soy based um, nog, the silk nog original, is soy milk, cane sugar, and sea salt. So that explains the, the, the flavors there not capturing all the essences of um, regular eggnog, I think. Now in the lactate holiday nog, you have your milk, sugar, cream, then natural flavors, and spice. No egg. In the original, the one that captures the essence of eggnogness, they have, they have milk, sugar, egg yolk. And that's how I made this when I made it for my students in Japan. I got a recipe for eggnog to try to get them to try it. Boy, did they not like it. But uh, that's the original flavor. Those are the things that you need. I don't know why they didn't put the egg yolk into this, but it, it explains why it's missing that one critical ingredient of eggnog. So in my opinion of these three eggnog alternatives, I would choose the soy milk based one. This is the one I've been having for the past several years. It's Silk Nog Original, and it seemed to me that it does the best in terms of balancing the flavors that you're looking for in eggnog when you drink it. You feel that you're drinking a, a very diluted eggnog, but it still triggers that eggnog memory, but just sort of in a more distant kind of way. If you can drink regular eggnog, you're not gonna be really satisfied with this, but if uh, half a glass of this um, put you in immense pain and discomfort and you have to go with something else, this is the one I would choose. We'll be back soon with more holiday and other reviews. You can keep checking back for those or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review.
Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At every grave you guys are gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.